I'm Jason Samanow with the Capital Weather Gang here with an update on a severe nor'easter which is going to bring a range of hazards up and down the mid-Atlantic and northeast coast on Friday. Let's start with the D.C. area where we do have a high wind warning in effect from midnight Friday to 7 p.m. Friday night. We are looking at some serious winds moving in after midnight on Friday night and cranking up during the pre-dawn hours, some gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. And by sunrise and during the day on Friday, we may be seeing frequent gusts in the 50 to 60 mile per hour range. That's enough to, of course, bring down trees and cause power outages. If you have any loose outdoor objects, you want to tie those down and secure them or bring them inside or else they could turn into projectiles. Now the wind should start to slowly relax on Friday night into Saturday, but they're still gonna be pretty strong with some gusts in the 30 to 45 mile per hour range, even into Saturday afternoon. We don't really see the winds relax fully until during the day on Sunday. Now further up the coast, we are looking at a whole range of disruptive impacts from coastal flooding in southern New England to heavy snowfall in the interior and strong winds throughout this entire region. In the Boston area, we are looking at the possibility of three straight record high tides over three tidal cycles during the day Friday into Saturday. That will result in significant flooding in that area. And the coastal flooding may also extend further down the coast, including along the Jersey Shore along Long Island as well as into southern Connecticut. Now on the interior of New England, we're talking about heavy snowfall from the Poconos of Pennsylvania to the Catskills in upstate New York, as well as western Massachusetts and western Connecticut. As colder air starts to pour into this storm, that rain snow line could even sneak down to the I-95 corridor. So rain may change to snow in Boston, New York, and Philadelphia as the storm's winding down Friday into Friday night. So of course, this is a rapidly developing situation. You want to stay tuned to the Capital Weather Gang for the latest.